Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's always a pleasure to have you dropping by. Now, my name is Pemiti, and you always, always, always welcome to my channel. Now, there's one political party that we haven't spoken about yet. Let's find out what they've been up to and what, let's find out what they still have to offer the country if they still have more. Now, this party is the African National Congress. ANC is our current leading party. It is our current party, which is in presidency. It has been running the country for a number of years. It's actually been running the country from 1994 until date. Now, we know that in less than five days' time, we are having our election once again. We don't know, will the ANC continue to lead South Africa? Or has the reign of the ANC come to an end? We don't know. But let's find out from Mr. Cyril Ramaphosa. What has his party done? Or what has the African National Congress rather done for South Africa thus far? Fellow South Africans, it's been 30 years since we took our first steps to freedom. Since then, as South Africans, millions more people now have access to housing, water, sanitation, education, and an improving social security system. We are renewing our state institutions and turning the tide on corruption together. We are building safer communities and working towards universal access to health care for all. We are promoting equity and transformation for an inclusive economy. We're building a better Africa and a better world. So let's do more together. Vote ANC. Now, personally, I know of three prominent party members from the ANC that have left the ANC and gone and started their own parties. The first one being Musiwa Lokota. Do you remember that name? Yes, he's the guy that left the ANC and went and started a political party called COPE, C-O-P-E. Now... I know that COPE was very active when it had left the ANC, but it's a bit quiet now. I'm not exactly 100% sure what is happening with COPE. But in all honesty, I don't see too much of that activity. Not as much ac activity as I see with the following party, which is the MK party. MK being Umkonto Esize, which is now under the face of Mr. Jacob Zuma. Now, this is a party that is said to be founded in December 2023. So in the past five months, this political party has definitely had a lot of people that have joined it. It's definitely, its effect as a political party is felt. Yes, as a new political party, they still have a few hiccups, few things that they need to iron out. But definitely that is a party that is active, that is up and about, and that is going to show the ANC or that could potentially show the ANC a bit of flames when it comes to the elections. Same with the EFF. Now the EFF, is also led by Julius Malema. Julius Malema is also a former member of the ANC. He was the ANC Youth League president at some point. He got fired from the, uh, the from that position for ANC related internal matters. Right. So I know of those three members: Julius Malema, Musiwa Lekota, and Mr. Jacob Zuma. Those three were prominent members within the ANC. All three of them have left the ANC, started their own political parties, and definitely Naganjani, that is going to affect the ANC. But don't take it from me. Don't hear anything that I say. Let's rather hear how positive or how unsure, how positive or how negative is Mr. Cyril Ramaphosa with regards to the elections that we are going to be having soon. Let's hear what he has to say. Ahead of the elections. Well, I'm here in Komazi. I've observed that... Uh, uh, the people here in Komazi support the ANC and much as we wanted 85% support of voter support here, they say they'll give us 90%. So I'm expecting a very high uh, vote from Komazi, from Pomalanga and uh, our comrades have worked very hard. They have driven the campaign from the provincial chair, Comrade Manda and Dovu and uh, all the others uh, who are part of the ANC leadership here have done a fantastic job and today I saw for myself. So we are really grateful and the message to them is re remain focused. Uh, we are moving to victory but that victory will only be achieved if all of us put shoulder to the wheel because we are now in the final push and this is part of the final push. So I see that Lux is also up and about campaigning for the ANC. <laughs> Let's see what he's up to. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, our former president, Mr. Tabon Begi. I almost forgot him. Did you see that he's also up and about, up and about campaigning for the African National Congress? Let's watch this. You see, the, the position has been taken by the leadership, and I think they're probably right about this. Is that there are certain set procedures in the constitution of the ANC as to how you expel a member. That it is necessary for the ANC itself to respect that constitution so that it does not behave in, in any manner in a lawless manner in terms of its own laws. And therefore, the decisions to take to take him to disciplinary committee and so on that's what's prescribed in the constitution. It's not cowardice. It's, it's that, I think that, that loyalty to its own constitution is important in the same way that we must also be loyal to the national constitution. So I think the position that the ANC leadership has taken on this in terms of procedure is correct. Now, I definitely wouldn't be fair if I close this off without hearing something that's being said by a senior citizen. We know that the ANC is largely supported by our senior citizens. Let's hear from just one and hear what they have to say. So in all, Mina, on my side, I'm going to vote for the ANC with its flaws and all. I know very well there is no party that is going to deliver us than the ANC. These others are just doing that for themselves. And number two, most of them are playing with our poverty to get seats in the ANC. It's not to say that we love what the ANC is doing. With all what they are doing, we don't want it. But with all what they have done for us, especially we in the older, er, older age, we know what they have done for us. They've put us out of apartheid. We were walking in the streets with cars in times of apartheid, not on the pavements. The ANC came and they delivered us. We were walking around with dumb pass, which is a pass. You wouldn't go out of the gate not having your pass. And the ANC came and it delivered us. Today, that everybody is now talking bad about the ANC, even young children who are, who are not even born, that don't know the ANC. The, the ANC made us what we are today with their flaws and all. We will give them a chance and we'll vote for them.